that's the whole game, name of the game is using leverage to scale. So if I know 10 people and they know a thousand people, now I know 10,000 people. Right. Versus I got to chase after all 10,000 people by myself. I'm just one guy. It's only so many hours in the day. So you just got to find those leverage points. And I figured those out. I've been doing this for 18 years. And I just figured out what are the main leverage points on you know how we can get this to more people and do it without me being in the business every single moment. Let automation, let VAs, let other people handle it. And I just kind of make some of the high level decisions. But you know, most of the time I'm down at the beach down here and just hanging out. <laughs> well, yeah, our marketing company, we talk about the fact that, you know, as a marketing firm, we're really an operations company. It's like, how do we do things simple and move things along? You know, and every business at the end of the day is an operational business, right? I mean, it has to operate no matter what you sell, what you do, you can put whatever that input is into that. And then you have to have the right types of systems and, you know, repeatable, um, more commodity driven, right? Because the more specialized that it is, you don't have the ability to scale as easily. So that's, that's really smart. So uh, did this epiphany come to you? Just I mean, talk to me about it. Like, I mean, were you grinding? And then you're like, oh, you know, you met one person who helped you leverage things? Or like, how did you decide that that was really the right way to approach it? Well, I, I'd been, I, I, coming out of school, I got a job doing exactly what I'm doing now. But the business I was working for, a few things. A, I hated working for anybody else. I right. hated bosses. Yeah. You know, I kind of, I'm a weirdo like that. So um, I always trying to figure out a way to get out of working underneath somebody, you know, going to these dumb meetings, all this stuff. So, but they were doing it completely opposite. They were going the hard way versus using leverage like we were talking about and making it simpler. And so I got out, started my own business about four, four, four and a half years ago. And I was trying to figure out, okay, now that I'm on my own, there's no reason for me to A, have an office. I had an office. I'm like, eh probably don't need the office. Let's figure out how I can leverage this even further. Right. And I had to figure, I went on the trip, took my mom to Europe for about six weeks. And so I kind of had this epiphany. I can do this for anywhere in the world, but I got to find a little bit more, some more leverage points to make it simpler so I can automate it. Cause the time, the time zone issue is a problem. Um, so, you know, if my clients are calling me at a certain time. I have to kind of figure out how am I going to handle that? So I found these little nuanced approaches to make it simple and easy. And I just implemented them. I'm like, man, I, I got to share this with other people because this is crazy how well how well you're paid, and then how much free time you can have, and then you're kind of untethered to, you know, whatever society you're in, or you know, state or country or you know, whatever. Or, <laughs> yeah, what's right. that? Whatever's going on in the world was. You yeah, know, exactly. You can kind of move around and yeah. check out different cultures and see what's going on. And then also, if you want to be in the states, great, you can see, stay in the states and work from your house and enjoy your kids and whatever you know, whatever's up to you. Yeah. So is your program for any business that's looking for leverage or is there specifically around kind of the financial sort of financing space? So uh, our, my business is purely equipment financing. Okay. So that's all we do is finance small, even, small to medium sized businesses. Yeah. And I'm thinking about like the, cause you have a, a course that you can take online that talks about this. Is it specifically for people who are interested in the equipment financing space or is it for any business? It's equipment financing. So it teaches them exactly what I do.